Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're making a basket stitch blanket. The blanket I'm showing you today measures 57 by 44 inches and the materials I used were scissors, I used a uh, tapestry needle, but you can also use a yarn needle to weave in your ends, an H hook, and I used four skeins of Burnett Sport uh, Baby Yarn. This was to make the specific size. Now if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you want to make it a little bit smaller, I'm going to show you um, how you can adjust it here in just a moment. So this pattern is worked in multiples of 8 plus 1. Um, I made a chain, my initial chain was 240 plus the 1, so 241 stitches. But if you're not sure um, how to measure it, I'm going to show you how to do these spaces. So these are multiples of 8, so I'm going to do the 16 plus 1. And that way you can see um, how big it is and we'll, we'll get that measured. Remember that this may vary a little depending on the tension that you crochet with. So if you're a tight crocheter, it might be a little smaller. If you crochet loosely, it might be a little bigger. So to start this, we're just going to start with a slip knot. So I wrap the yarn around my fingers and just insert the crochet hook through the loop. Pull that yarn that's through and just tighten it a little bit. So I'm going to start with my chain 16 plus 1. So to chain, let me chain a couple here so I have a bit more space to grab this. Alright, so to make a chain, just pin to the very bottom part, so where our slip knot was um, originally. And we're just going to yarn over and pull it through the loop. So yarn over, pull through loop. And that's just how you make a chain. So we're going to make 16 of these plus 1, so a total of 17. And this will help us measure how big our blanket's going to be so that we can see how big the weave is going to be. So once you've made all of your chains, just pinch the bottom, uh, or the very last chain, the closest one to the hook, and we're going to chain two more, because we're going to be making double crochets. You can make three if you choose to, I prefer to work my double crochets with two, with a chain of two. So now we're going to make a double crochet, so we yarn over and we go back to that stitch that we pinched. If you lost your place, it's the third one from, the, uh, from your hook. So we have three loops on our hook. We yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is a double crochet. So we yarn over, insert our hook in the next stitch, pull the yarn through, and then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're just gonna keep making a double crochet in each one of the stitches. So for those who aren't used to crocheting, these right here are our stitches. So they become a lot easier to see when they're right in front of you. But we're just going to uh, double crochet in every one until I get to the end of my row. So now that I've reached the end of the row and I've double crocheted in every stitch, we're going to make a chain of two so that we can start turning our work around and going the other way. So we chain two, turn our work around, and see these little spaces right here? So these are our posts. We're going to be working with our posts only. So typically we work with our stitches, which is up here. So these little guys up here are our stitches. So let me get my hook back to, there we go, back in our loop. And we're going to be working, like I said, with our posts. So you yarn over and we're going to go back through, here we go, behind this first post and we're going to push it forward. So that is a front post double crochet. So we just pull the yarn through, see how we have our three loops like we do for a double crochet? And then we just yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we do that again. So we push this next post forward and just finish our double crochet. We're going to make a total of eight of these. And this is going to be the first row of our basket weave because these are all going to be alternating. So let me just finish these and then we can start working on our back post double crochets. So this is a really quick work blanket. Um, it's really nice for even beginners too because it just looks really nice. Alright, so now that I've finished all my posts, see this re these remaining eight posts? Now we're going to work a back post double crochet. So now we insert our hook through the front and push the post back. See how we've got the makings of our double crochet. So now we just pull this through and we have our three loops again. And we just pull through two, pull through two. So yarn over, go in front of the post, push it back, pull the yarn through. We have three loops, pull through two, pull through two. So I'll just keep working these last ones for this row. Let's 
So we've reached the end of our row, and here's a stitch we just can't ever skip because it's going to throw us off. So that plus two that we made, that last two chain, here it is. We're going to need to make a double crochet in that, and that's going to close off our row. If we skip that, we're going to start losing the shape of our, um, our perfectly square blanket. So there we go. That was our very first row. Now we're going to chain two, turn our work around, and see how these back posts have now become front posts and these front posts are now back posts. We're going to keep working that way. So these front posts are still going to be front post double crochets. So just keep working them as a front post and you insert your hook through the back, push the post forward, and finish off your double crochet. So we'll just keep working these last few and then I'll show you how to keep working your back post ones. so I've reached my last one over here. All right, now see how these are all our back post double crochets? We're just gonna keep working them as a back post double crochet. So for that, see how we've got this little line in the middle? So that's gonna come in handy later so that you can tell which one the back post is. So we just insert a hook through the front, push the post back, and just keep working our double crochet. So do this one, all right, so yarn over, push the post back, and then just pull through all our loops. I'll just work these remaining ones and show you how to work the end again. Alright, so I'll finish my last post. There we go. And see this little chain space again? Don't skip it. We're just going to make one double crochet in here. So just yarn over search your hook in that stitch and then just pull through your two loops yarn over pull through two so that was our second row so we're just going to make a total of five of these rows in the same way so keep working these front posts double crochets as front posts the back posts as back posts and just make three more rows and i will keep working on these and i'll see you when i've got my rows made all right so i have finished my five rows let's see you can tell here because you can count these so that's our back post double crochets, but these will give us our five little lines. So you'll have a total of six if you're counting the topmost one, but it's gonna go away here because we're gonna reverse this to create the basket weave. So you're gonna chain two, turn our work around, and now these front post double crochets are gonna become back post double crochets. So we find our first post, and now we're gonna insert our hook through the back, push it front, and we're going to push our post backward. So we're going to reverse these. So I'm just going to keep working these back posts, double crochets. I finished with my back post double crochets. Now these that were back post double crochets are now going to be pulled to the front. So all of these are going to become front post double crochets. So now we just insert our hook through the back and we're going to push the post forward. And we're going to finish our double crochet. So I've got to my last chain, don't ever skip this chain, and I'm just going to make my double crochet, and we are done with our row number six. So we chain two, turn our work around, and we're going to keep working the same way that we were working. So these are now back post double crochets, and you can tell because there's this very marked line right here. So now we insert a hook through the front, push our post back and finish our double crochet. So push the post back and double crochet. So here I'll show you now we've got our two rows and see how we've got our rows over here. 
So now that tells us that we have successfully reversed our stitching and this is what's going to create that basket look in our blanket. So I'll keep working these and we'll get to our front post ones. There we go. So now we're at our front post ones. See how these are all, there's no harsh line going through these. Just keep working these as front post double crochets. So I insert the hook through the back and finish the double crochet by pulling the post forward. So I'll finish working this last row and then I'll just complete uh, my remaining three rows and show you what our square is going to look like. So remember that it's um, eight. So we're working these in multiples of eight and then we're making five rows. So you count your eight front post double crochets and then eight back post double crochets and then you're going to count, uh, do the same for five rows. So I'll finish these and show you what it looks like. So this is my little square now that it's done. I've got my five rows up and down and my eight across. And I'm going to use this as my basic measuring tool to make my blanket the size that I want. So grab a measuring tape or a ruler and just measure it across. So this is four inches across by three and a half inches tall. And that's for our chain of 17. So it was the two eighths. So it was 16 plus the one and then working our 10 rows. So it was five rows up and then another five rows up. So use this to measure the blanket and make it whatever size blanket you want. Um, I'll add some measurements down below so you can see the typical measurements for a blanket. And this is what it'll look like once you have a couple of rows completed. And that was it guys. It's an easy blanket. Um, I hope you give it a try. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. Subscribe to this channel if this is the kind of stuff you like to see. Give it a thumbs up to let me know that this is the type of video you want me to make. And you can follow me on Instagram at Mode Bespoke. Thank you.